and this is Brock from Melstein Records, and today we're doing Aaron Mutha Alamer's Vinyl Thread. Vinyl Thread of Super Grails. Super Grails. So, so not just a grail. A Super Grail. Super Grail. So if you're collecting records for more than about a hot minute, you probably have a hundred grails, like realistically. Like yes. Yours. And I'm sure, you know. But these are the these are the super ones. These are the ones that you would freak if you could get your hands on them. Yes. You would sell your house or your soul or your soul, either what whatever is more important to you. Yeah. So, um, do you want to start? Or? Sure, I can start. I guess. Okay. So obviously, we don't have our grails to show you today. I want maybe have some references as we get into it. But oh, we're just gonna talk about it because yeah, it doesn't exist in, in the household. So my first super grail would probably be Charles Mingus Blues and Roots, Charles Mingus record. Um, it's probably one of the sexiest jazz records I've, I've ever heard. Um, this book's for about $480, so a little bit much to drop on one LP for me, but totally an awesome record and I would freak out if I saw it. Yeah, that would be a cool find in the wild somewhere. Definitely. Second one would be... Uh, for me, it would be Howlin' Wolf's self-titled, or more commonly known as the Rockin' Chair album. One of the premier bl blues records. Oh, yeah. Just would be an awesome, awesome find. Um, would love to find a Rockin' Chair OG. Those those book for quite quite a pretty penny, too. Yes. About 350 bucks. And lastly, I would do... This one is maybe not... This is a realistic one. This is a realistic one. This could one. really happen. Yeah. Would be Miles Davis sketches of Spain. That one can book for about a hundred to hundred fifty bucks for an, for an decent copy. So not nothing nothing too out outrageous. No. Um, but I do not. I so I don't have it on vinyl, but I do have it on CD. This is probably my second favorite Miles Davis record behind Bitches Brew. <laughs> Completely different uh, different mood for this one. Um, blending some classical music in here with this as well. Really awesome record. So that would be my list. Realistic Grail. Realistic Grail. So the first two are definitely super. Yes. And this one is like, oh, I'm probably honestly going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so my, my super, super Grail um, would, of course, be Misfits Cough Cool. This is obviously not an original 1977 pressing. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Um, but like an original pressing of this recently sold for over $10,000. So this is probably a super grail that will realistically never be in my collection, but. Stranger things have happened. I mean, who knows, you know, it could happen. It could happen. I could win the lottery. Yes. Even if I won the lottery, though, finding one of these might be a challenge. Um, actually I know exactly where I could find one, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's my super, super, super girl. And then, like, my... It's still probably not going to happen, but, you know, it would be nice. Would be um, a actual... A, a 1983 repress of this. Um, Glenn Danzig, Who Killed Marilyn. Um, there are, like, a purple translucent vinyl version. And there's also... Um, I've seen a couple purple with, like, a little bit of black in them. Which are, like, super, super rare. Um, that's probably a grand or more. Um to get the 83 repress of this. So probably at this point, I have just been out. Um, probably not gonna get any Misfits. Priced so, out of the seven inches. Pr priced yeah. out of the seven inches at this point since the reunion shows, that's just probably not gonna happen unless I like win the lottery. Any other regular normal person. Yes, and then <laughs> my realistic though, Super Grail is Super Sexy Swinging Sounds. Right, White Zombie. Um, I do collect Cheesecake. Records, which I might actually do a video on those yeah. at some point. Um, but that would be the ultimate, like, cheesecake photo on a record. It's that... a compilation, right? Yeah. It's a compilation. Yeah. So, White zombie yeah. stuff, right? Yes. White, White zombie. zombie. Yeah. yeah. So that was 1996, Geffen, and then, you know, mm -hmm. 300 400 plus dollars for those. So, eh, pricey, but realistic. In the meantime, though, I, I have the great value version of it, which is... This here, Gently Swinging by Earl Grant, which very well may have been the inspiration for Super Sexy Swinging Sounds, but that'll have to do until, A, the money, you know, I would have the money for it, and then B, like, they're very hard to find. Um, one of them came up on Discogs 
few weeks ago. It was gone. It was gone like oh that. God. Like I was like, oh, and then like I didn't pull the trigger. Hesitated. That's it. Someday, <laughs> someday. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, so those are our super grails. Super grails. I think we picked two that were definitely super duper. Like our yeah. And, and then one that mm, yeah, maybe maybe someday. So. Yeah. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll catch you next time. And we'll link to Aaron's channel. Yeah, if you if you don't um, sub follow, subscribe, yeah. watch all of Aaron's videos, you totally should. All right, bye guys. Bye.